Hello everyone and welcome back to Savage Stallions Pokemon. Today we're going to tackle Hydrapple with Ogre Pond, which honestly I think is a very good deck to be playing right now with all the Charizards and Roaring Moons that are out there. Um, every league I've gone to, every like cup I've gone to, and then pretty much playing online, I'm running into Roaring Moon and Charizards like nonstop. So having a grass deck is nice, but not just that and hitting for weakness. Hydrapple itself can easily one hit KO a lot of Pokemon with its Syrup Storm. 30 more damage for each grass energy attached to all of your Pokemon. And with these Ogre Ponds and their nice acceleration of the grass energy, works great together. It's really nice. Uh, let's see, we also got the Mew and the and the Cleffa. The Cleffa's nice early game for sure if you're having an issue with draw. Gotta have the Mew for extra draw support later on if you're breaking. We play Area Zero. It's as nice in this deck too. Kind of opens up the bench. Um, we play one and one of Cricketot and Cricketune with the Swelling Two, and that gives you 40 HP for all your Grass Pokemon, um, except for Cricketune, which can be very helpful. You would think it wouldn't be that helpful, but it does actually help with a lot of uh, the damages that other Pokemon are throwing you throwing on you. Legacy Energy is great here, honestly. I, all the matches I've been playing. Um, Putting this on a Pokemon to where they take one less prize card, it's it's very beneficial, and it's been helping me. But so far, honestly, with all the decks lately, this has been one of my favorite to play. So why don't we jump right in and get started. Alright, here is our first match. Let's see what we can do here. Alright. What's it going to call? You know, when you have family, they they can be talking in the background. It's just part of the game. All right. Call and slow, come on. Come on. What do you got? Applin and Cleffa. Alright. Not terrible. Got a Milligan. Ooh, Tropicos maybe? Could be going against Tropicos. Hard to tell really. But we'll see. What's it gonna be? Take our one Maligan. Well, that still doesn't help me. Alright. What you gonna do? Yakoga. Area Zero. Well, at least we don't have to worry about playing Area Zero in this match. Of course, we still don't know what we're playing against. Probably something Terrapagos. Oh no. So this could be uh, Raging Bull, maybe? I'm still not greatly versed in all the decks that are being played right now. The instant charge. Now I gotta be kinda careful over benching. Oof. Feels bad to have to lose boss. Or do we want to Iono oh, instead of research? Good question. Oop, we want to grab Ogre. We got all four Ogres. Draw some cards with Teal Dance, Nest Ball. Okay, sweet. Grab another Ogre. I don't want to start binging too much because of that Raikou. I don't know. Yeah, I say we I own him. We also have Grasping Draw too, so we can play off that for the nest. Oh, let's see. We don't have we have rare candy. We do want to thin. But not always. I don't want an earthen vessel nest. 
that cricket. Psycho's doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 140 right now. If he fills his bench, that'd be 160, 180, 200. So if he fills his bench, he can't take out my ogres yet. So we'll just grasp and draw and pass it on. There's Hydrapple. There you go. So as long as we don't get Iono'd, we're good. Should have said that. Now we're going to get Iono'd. That's how it goes. There it is. Called it. Beautiful. Love it. We got candy. We got bug catching set. So we could still be okay. Almost got a full bench. There's Terrapagos. Oh, I forgot about Area Zero. So he could get knocked. Did he play a trainer? Oh, he played Iono. That's right. Well, he can't boss unless he plays Prime Catcher. So he's switching, which means he's probably trying to play Prime. Attach the Raikou, do a Prime Catcher. Let's see what they try to do here. Switching to Rapagos. Three five beat down. Let's see. So I'm almost tempted to lead Applin. And just pray the bug catching sets help me out. Or we can just do Tarap. Ah. Whatever. We'll do it. We'll lead Applin and hope for the best. Another rare candy. Let's bug catching set. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. We can bench here. Chill mask. <clears throat> Sorry, chill dance. I'll do the chill mask. The grass. Let's bug catching set. Couldn't get the hydrapple. That's a problem. Now let's. Keep Teal dancing here. Maybe rip it. Nothing. Come on. Another energy. I'd hate. <sighs> hmm. Well, we can do another nest ball and grab one more ogre. Hope for the best here. I mean, we're not doing enough to knock out Terrapagos on the on this guy. Let's see, 30, <clears throat> 60, 90, 120. I can attach. That would be 150 plus two on the other one. 210. We're short still. But I want to. I really hate to I, to research. So we're gonna Iono. What's one card? We got it. Well, we didn't get it because we don't have the energy now. Dang. We got the Hydrapple, though. Sorry. I overthought that one. I was like, oh, we're good. We're good. But we don't have a freaking Hydrapple or an energy. Fill that. We did not play this very well. Bench Mew. Restart. Dipple. Gonna have to pass. Dang, man. That feels bad. I got the rare candy hydrapple, but at the loss of energy. These things do happen. Crispin. I need to get the hard charm on now. I'm not worried about one hit KOing Terrapagos. That's not really a, an issue. Once we can get the energy onto Hydrapple. He can't use his ability yet. A little Crown Opal. Pop 
probably go for Unified. He's got the Pheasant Flippity. What you gonna do? Concealed cards. Do the retreat and he's gonna attack with Raikou. Is Raikou got enough right now? And he attached for turn too on there. Oh, Glass Trumpet. But doesn't that only attach to the bench? So unless he has energy switch. Does he have the E switch? Glass Trumpet again. Instant charge. That's such a weird move. I don't wonder why he wouldn't have attacked. Oh no. I'm gonna absolutely hate doing this, but I gotta research. Now I'm gonna lose two eye apples. Well, there's super rod. That's good. That's a good thing. Now we can put those back. Not all of back. <sighs> Ripening charge. Attach return. Teal dance. Teal dance. We dancing. Not yet, not that. Teal well, catching set. I feel like we just hold that. Doing 390 right now. Beefy amount. Or candy Reese, or what, what is Blood Moon do? 240. If I can get my Cricketot out, he can't KO my Ogre Ponds with Blood Moon. This is 180 and 30. Yeah, he, I mean, he's minus 20. There's no way he can do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 3. Excuse me, 240 plus 30. Two, no, 240. So yeah, 240 is max all he's doing. Minus 20 because of double turbo. And crown opal prevent damage to this Pokemon by attacking your basic non colorless Pokemon. Anything that's not non colored. We're not basic, so we're good. We should still be able to attack. I don't know, that don't really matter too much. We got, got the cricket tune, that's good. I probably should get another uh, Applin down. I really wanted to bench one earlier, but I was afraid of the, the Raikou doing more damage. Here comes in another Raikou. Raikou? You guys prefer Raikou or Raikou? Or Raikou? Just kidding. If someone actually calls it that, that's just nuts. And he is building up that Blood Moon. 310 with the hard charm there. I feel like Blood Moon is more of a threat than Terrapagos right now. Unify, be down. I really would like to get another Applin going here. Under depth, we can do that. That'll beef us up a little bit. Shoot. I honestly feel like taking out the Blood Moon may make more sense. Rapagos can't really trap me with Crown Opal. Unified Beatdown is not hitting crazy hard. Yeah, I say. I think we definitely do it. It'll be harder to knock down later on. 390. Easy one hit KO for a Hydrapple. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. There's an Applin. Oh, look, we have a rare candy and hydrapple in hand, too. Got to wait two turns, but we got it. Honestly, if they knock, if he puts in Tropagos to attack hydrapple, that makes it ten times easier for 
Ogre Pond to take out Tarapagos because of more energy. What would that be? So he's got four energy, seven. Seven times three, 210, 240. So not quite there, but we could sort of trust some grass. Let's see what he decides to do. Honestly, base case, best case scenario, he knocks out Hydrapple, put in Teal Mask, and should be able to get the knockout. Hopefully get some energy off research. I think we need two, two energies at least. Maybe grab a vessel. I'm not sure. I, I play 14. Ooh, he primes. So he's just going to go for the knockout. Or for the... Okay, he just wants to get the knockout. But he doesn't have the knockout, though. I guess I don't understand that play. I can just easily retreat. And then put in Hydrapple. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not sure why he did that. Because he can't stall me. Counter catcher. Break a tune. That don't really matter either. There ain't no way I don't get at least one energy. I mean, just for the poops and giggles of it, we'll put the app one down and research. Yep, there's energy. That's it. Then we can just slap the energy. Retreat. Drapple. And that's game. I drapple and Ogre Pond, man. They just work really get good together. I love them. There we go. Alright, here's our second match. Let's see what we got. Man thighs, good luck to you. You got this. Or maybe you don't, who knows. Either way, best of luck. Come on, what you got? Arceus sleeves, so that means he's playing Arceus. No, I'm just kidding, but what if? Applin lead. Kinda bad, but whatever. We got Mulligans. Oh, it is Lug it's Lugia. Okay, Lugia. Alright. I don't know if I've actually played against Lugia with this deck. I don't know if Lugia plays Arceus. There's Ogre Pond. That's, that's not bad. Or oh, maybe it's Mincino. These single prize cards, man, they're rough to go against. <clears throat> Haven't played Mancino in a while, and Chinchino. So I don't entirely remember what they do. But we'll find out real quick. As you probably already tell, I'm not as experienced as a lot of other people that play, but... I'm getting there. I just gotta remember all the cards and what they do. All the decks out there. Jet Energy. You gonna call for family? Looks like he's got a pretty dead hand. Yeah. That's rough. Energy. Might as well Ogre Pawn and Teal Dance. Foot Catching Set. I don't think I can get an attack. There's just no way. Might as well attach that there. Bug catching. Ooh, three energy. Figures. Not really was the goal there. Come on, Ogre Ponds. Dang! That's not very helpful. Oh, do we really research here? After I just pulled in five, four energy. Sure. If we need to, we get superior rod than back. Look, there we go. See? That ain't nothing. Do I want to grab Kleffa here? I guess. 
bench ogre. Go ahead and retreat. Superior. Do that. Grab four energy back. Go ahead and do that teal dance. Super rod. Sure. I want Cricketune back, anyways. Got another Ogre Pound. Do another Teal Dance. Another Grass. Just finish with Grass Me Draw. Ooh. Now we just need candy. Hey, we'll top deck it. I'm sure we will. Let's see what they got. They didn't do much on their first turn. Which means they could have been restricted to needing a supporter. Let's see. 